1999 in Mexico. Fiesta at the Azteca. All Mexicans are very passionate when it comes to football. When we had the opportunity to hold the Confederations Cup, it was like everyone was remembering 1986, when we hosted the World Cup. There was a lot of love and support for the players, and we lived it with a lot of intensity. That intensity was missing for Germany. The European champions took a weakened squad to Mexico and suffered an opening 4-0 defeat to Brazil. It's always special to play there, but for me as a young player to face one of the best teams in the world and then to suffer a 4-0 defeat, there was a lot of criticism, even if we didn't arrive with the strongest side. If Germany were as poor as they have been at a major tournament, a teenage Brazilian was making a better impression. Oh, maybe the player who surprised me the most was Ronaldinho. He was already aiming to be the best. He was a future Brazilian star in the making. And he didn't just surprise me. He caught everybody's attention. Germany's tournament ended with a humiliating 2-0 defeat to the USA. We're honest enough to admit that maybe we were not good enough in those years. There were not enough good players on the team. That was the reason we were eliminated. The Americans were through to a semi-final against their continental rivals in the Azteca, an intimidating prospect. It's a cauldron of just anger and, and, and this thickness of the pollution and the altitude and everything about it and this white noise that you can't hear yourself speak when you come out of the tunnel. It's just, you can't imagine you know, what it's like because, until you're in it. Casey Keller, Casey Keller put in a fantastic yeah. performance. He's a great goalkeeper and showed it that day. After we had so many chances, it really did seem as if the ball was never going to go in the goal. Well, just when you think he can't get to the, the, this certain play or fingertip save or he tips it over the bar, um, he kept us in it. So, yeah, his performance was great. But in extra time, Cuauhtémoc Blanco was the hero for the home team. Oh, it's gone off. It must be. Blanco! That's the goal. That's the win. Mexico are in the final. In the other semi-final, Brazil were utterly dominant against Saudi Arabia, despite appalling conditions. Ronaldinho led the way. I have wonderful memories. I remember the goals. I remember practically the whole match. The grass was very wet. There was a lot of rain. It was a special game because I helped my country get to a final. And I was very young, so that tournament was very important to me. A hat-trick for Ronaldinho and a record 8-2 victory as Brazil headed for their second successive final to face the hosts. I remember all the support that Mexico had in that final. All the fans were on their side. I remember very well the power of their performance, because the support of the fans does make a huge difference. It was a wonderful match. Mexico started in superb style. Great chance here, Zepeda, and Dinas fluffed it into the net, and Mexico are in front with Miguel Zepeda's goal. And the home team quickly doubled their advantage. Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. They are chanting around the Azteca. Brazil replied and then leveled a classic soon after half time. Away goes Ronaldinho. Squares it in. Might be a second for Brazil. But Mexico struck back and Marquez then freed Blanco for his sixth goal of the tournament as the hosts won 4 3. It's Blanco. It's still Blanco. It's Blanco. It's four. When the team wins, when the team beats a difficult opponent, when you achieve as important a trophy as the Confederations Cup, 
Those are unforgettable memories. Our fans celebrating and enjoying Mexico's victory, memories that I will always treasure.